Welcome back to podcast number two. Numero two. Talking all things Disney in partnership with Magic Breaks. Indeed. Now, listen, we've got a lot to unpack today because today is the big one. We are going to be talking about Florida. Different, but Florida. yeah, same part. Yeah, you get the gist. The Sunshine State. Mm, there you go. My favourite place. Cool. Um, so that is what we're going to be talking about today. And we've got a lot to unpack. So we are going to get straight into it. But where do we start? There's a lot to start from. Maybe we start at the beginning with travelling. Because we get a lot of questions oh, about travelling oh, with children. Oh, God. The last one was... Oh, my God. Yeah, luckily... If you follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah, it hurt. And it was painful. On, well, even on the vlog, if people would have seen it, we couldn't actually film on the plane because it was so horrific. Delilah's bowel movements were awful. She did like nine, I mean, like exploding poos on the plane, and, and the, I, I literally got down to my last nappy, didn't I? Yeah, it was like touch and go because we would have. I don't know. Apparently, no, little tip done. though, um, airplanes do have nappies on board. Oh, I didn't know that. They do, yeah. Oh, um, there you go. Someone, I don't know how I know that, but I told someone a story about nine nine nappies Delilah and they said, yeah, they do have, um, if there's an exploding child like Delilah. Oh, there you go, guys. Nathan's top tip. Nathan's top tip. Um, but yeah, travelling. It's... A grey area. The way I look at it is once, you will, once you're there, it's worth it and you forget about it. It is very stressful. <laughs> Even if you've got good children, you still nine, ten hours on a plane is a long time for anyone, let alone a child. Oh, bless them. I would say it's easier to go when they're either a baby, yeah, or even Fred's age is a good age now. Yeah, Fred's Delilah's just in the midst of nothing entertains her. Nope, you have constantly got to entertain her. She don't really nap. She's not that kid. No, she's just like um, the spawn of the devil at the minute. Just yeah. completely putting us through it, but we love her anyway. And another thing as oh, well. Go on. Uh, Wi-Fi on planes. Yes. What a godsend. So bring yourself a tablet. If you're Freddie's age, who is just YouTube. obsessed with YouTube, stick him on the iPad and away he goes. And uh, also, I would say a top tip, what we did traveling with them is we had a double pram that we checked into the plane yes. because in the parks we wanted that. But we also had a yo-yo, you know, like the little collapsible, any collapsible pram that can go into the overhead. And Delilah was still young enough that we had a, what are they called? Like the, a sling. The sling, the, yeah. Um, yeah. So then when we got off the plane, we had the yo-yo for Fred and the sling for Delilah until we could get the double pram back. Because obviously you can take them all the way up to the plane and then you've got them straight away. So if you are traveling with young children, either a sling for a baby, please take it. Or a collapsible plan that goes uh, a collapsible pram that goes in the cabin because it will save your life. I've got to say, like I said again, when she tells me this before we go, right, take this, take take the prams. I do instinctively think, no, this is so long. This it's better to be over prepared than under prepared. And this is one thing: the more I've been married to Cara, she does know what she's talking about. So the prams are a must. Be prepared. Big must. Be prepared. Uh, plane flying. Um, we have we touched on that? I mean, treats as well. Again. Treats, snacks, snacks, snacks. Is my golden rule at all times. Anywhere yeah. you go, take snacks. Take go in the airport, buy a little bottle of milk. Take everything. Feel like you are taking more than you will ever need in a two week holiday on a ten hour flight. Because that gives them. It's like giving them like little droppings, doesn't it? Of mm, but like, try not to take too much sugar. Yeah. Don't do the chocolates. And then what about the paracetamol trick for the ear rolls? Yeah, it's a bottle, bit of cow pole, lovely. They're ear olds, obviously. Obviously, up. check with your doctor. Yeah, check with your doctor. We ain't GPs. So, um, yeah, travelling. But what Cara said, it is so true um, that when you get there, you do forget about it. Anyway, let's put the travelling behind us because that is the hard <sighs> bit. Now we're going to go into the enjoyable part. So for this particular holiday that you guys are hopefully watching now over on our YouTube vlog, we did a split holiday. We stayed in um, a family's villa, which is amazing. I would recommend staying in villas. I love it. We also did a cruise, Disney cruise, which yeah. we are big fans of, as you know. And it's my spirit jersey. And no. also, yours isn't from a cruise, Nathan. Don't try it's from and Paris. be part of the cruise. We the did Paris week. last week. Yeah, well, yeah. this is from Paris. There you go, it's mine. And then we stayed at Disney Caribbean Beach, which was great. But 
personally, I don't know about you, I do like staying in the villa. There's a lot of convenience with staying on site. I agree. But money-wise and especially with younger children to have like a kitchen, a bathroom, a personal little pool. The one we stay at is, would we, we, we I think we can put the link, we'll get the link to the one we stay to at. To where we stay, but please don't overbook it. Because yeah, because it's is, perfect. That is our place so where we stay, we, but it's, it's perfect. It's four bedrooms, has its own heated swimming pool with a games room, with a snooker table, pucker, pucker machine. A uh, uh-huh. A pucker from uh, the, the pucker machine. A uh-huh. what? The ice puck, pucker. Pucker, you know the little discs. Puck, uh, no. Anyways, going on. Uh, That's the definitely machine. not the real word. What's for it called it? then? I don't know. Pucker. Everyone knows it's the pucker <laughs> machine. <laughs> Anyways, moving on from the pucker machine. Um, it has four bedrooms, and it sleeps what like eight? one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And it's yeah, like you said, it's we love it. It's fifteen, 15 minutes, minutes from international Disney. drive. It's just it's just close. But obviously when you're booking your package with magic breaks, they're amazing and they can they can just guide you on what where to stay. They've got some amazing hotels. Um loved staying on Disney property. We stayed in Caribbean Beach. That was great. Um we chose it because it had the skyline there, which again is a great factor in the park. Convenience. Yeah, you can take the skyliner um to Epcot you can take it to Hollywood Studios which we found really easy and convenient which was great and we could take the buggy there as well yeah which was good. um Talking so buggies. staying on site has got its big advantages obviously you're on site you get your early park entry you get to book your dining 60 days out things like that so it was lovely and I really liked it and I would like to stay in more Disney hotels but I think budget wise I think it is more value you get more value for money staying off site at disney and yeah i agree and as well where you've got places like walmart and target but they're expensive so make sure you find audi Aldi, i yeah. found audi uh, yeah and there's <laughs> a 10 pound difference in nappies in audi oh found. it was crazy from, a 10 dollars sorry $10. from walmart to going to audi and buying their nappies i couldn't believe how expensive it was it was mental i couldn't believe there was a a, a packet of iceberg lettuce for seven dollars like the shopping in america has gone up i'm not gonna lie guys it's and gone a, up quite substantially and it was ten pound no ten dollars a pint in disney yeah so you know <sighs> be sensible but it is great we really enjoy it we do and we are the suckers that go back time after time that is it and <laughs> we're gonna keep going back time we after will time. forever because we love it but okay so you want to start with disney you want to start with universal where do you want to start let's go with let's warm up with universal okay universal yeah. so we all went to universal the first day we went we went nathan Fred, my brother, and I. Um, not a lot for Pinky's age to do at no. Universal, is there? But Fred was just like a kid at Christmas. Yeah, he could go on most things. The only things he couldn't go on um, is Rip Ride Rocket. He couldn't go on Harry Potter, The Forbidden Journey. You know, the one when you're in the stalls. Yes. And you couldn't go on that. Couldn't go on, obviously, Velocicoaster or the Hulk. Oh, but let's touch base on that later. What is there anything else you couldn't really go on? Uh, well, he'd done the main one, Spider Man. I thought was just like yeah. they are just it's an old rides. ride, but it's a classic. But they're they're unbelievable. It's all 4D. Yeah. You've got um, water splashing out. Then yeah. you've got the fire at the end. Like they are the. That's what brings me back to them parks. You... I just think they're so clever. What about King Kong? Yeah, I jumped. that's all right. What there. you? That's all right. It's not what a, I like the old King Kong that used to be there. Unfortunately, you was deprived and never tried that. Just a Portugal baby. Like Jaws. You never tried the original Jaws, which again, Fred, mate, Fred would have loved Jaws if Jaws yeah. was there now. Uh, well, I always used to look at that and, on the internet, but never got there. But oh, it was look so at me good. Now. But love Universal. Wouldn't rec- recommend Universal necessarily if you have younger children. I think sort of like five and above, great. Anything younger than that. You're going to have a lot, especially if you're traveling as a family, you're going to be doing a lot of waiting, one of you waiting with the child. Um, obviously, a lot of the parks do the child swap, which is a great thing to take advantage That's of. Cool. So, like in our case, Nathan and Fred would have queued up for a ride. Then we'll say, you have to go up to someone at the front and say, look, we want to do child swap. We've got the baby here. The baby can't come on the ride. And then what they'll do is on your ticket or whatever, they'll give you a fast pass. So as soon as Nathan and Fred came out, 
me and Fred could then go back on and Fred loved it because he got to you go on You never went on twice. any of the rides because you were scared. Yeah, I did, man. Went on Test Track. Went on Everest. Not the big ones, though, Carl. Everest. <sighs> People want to see you on the big Everest. ones. Everest. Everest is great. Yeah. Let, let me just touch on, while we're on uh, Universal, go on. Velociraptor. That. Velocicoaster. Veloc- obviously, I'm just making sure you're um, to paying attention. But anyways, that was the best ride I've ever been on, and I don't think until Tron's being made or whatever. But I don't think Tron will be as like, erratic. Yeah. Like, right, let me just talk you through this. This ride was unbelievable. So you shoot off at 78 miles Compare per hour. Compare the shoot off to the Hulk shoot off. Uh, they're different. Um, it's more the Hulk's vertical. The shoot off with Velo- Velocicoaster is straight, but it's just the whole package of it. It's unbelievable. It's, it's Breathtaking. Me and your brother was on the. You seem very passionate about this. Oh, I am. You're spitting. You're so uh, passionate. Yeah, no, your, I'm and dribbling. Your lips, your lips are wet. <laughs> I'm dribbling. I, I, I like, it, like me and your brother on the ride. We looked at each other. We looked, felt reborn. Okay. It was like we. I don't know. It was just a yeah. an, a mad experience. It's getting a bit weird now. <laughs> it's getting a bit weird. Was, yeah, but yeah. But um, Hag- remember Hagrid's. Hagrid, Hagrid was and great. We, we read that at night as well. That was so. Is that when the track? Yeah, yeah don't yeah. give it away, man. Oh, no, no, no. Don't I'm just, give spoilers I just, away. I just, you know, no it's a knows. great ride. That is. That is. And that's... if you can ride that at night. Yeah, that was cool. That was really cool. And the other thing I love about Universal is if you've got the park hopper tickets, you can get the um, Hogwarts Express from park to park. So rather than having to walk, that's really you can cool. actually do that. So, so yeah, that is a I love that's a lovely touch. By the way, it's one of the best touches. Getting oh, it's the, brilliant. The Hogwarts I, I, train. I love I love Universal. My mum loved Universal as well. But her legs didn't. Bless no, her. she was like, I'm glad I've done it. But thirty thousand like, steps later, she was in yeah, agony. She was like, I'm not doing this again. I'm glad I've come. I'm glad I've seen it. I'm glad I've seen the kids here. But never again. Can yeah, she walk around and it parks? was about 32, 32 degrees that day. It was hot, and the only thing that was keeping us warm was the overpriced beers. Keeping us warm, keeping us cold. Cool, keeping us cold. Yeah, yeah. man, twelve dollars for a beer. Cool. Yes. <laughs> um. But yeah, Universal. I, I think I prefer Universal. Universal's got more what you want though. Yeah. Where you, where you where you love Disney, but you haven't got like the strong strong nostalgic attachment like me. Universal's more for you. It's more thrill seeking, isn't it? Yeah, it's got so more thrill rides. I and I just love, I just love the whole package. I love the Simpsons. Uh, I, I think you love the, the pink donut. The pink donuts. But last time I went, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know whether it was a, like the pink donuts. No, it, Nathan like bought. My head. Nathan bought a pink donut at the very end of the day from the shop at the front of the park. So it was like, sitting there all day. It was like eating a, no, an old man. army boot. You got to get a fresh donut at the beginning of the day. Yeah, but and when a, they are fresh. No, do you remember the corn dogs and the duff beer? Oh, Top mate, tip. So good. Go to Springfield, sit on the water, get yourself a corn dog with and some mustard beer. and some ketchup and a duff <sighs> beer and just sit there for like a half hour, 40 minutes and just chill. That was, you You bought me into the corn dogs. Corn dogs are the best. You know, dogs listen guys, you know I love a hot dog. You know that I love a hot dog in any form. A corn dog is a battered, not a battered, but like a... It a, is battered. It's not battered. It's like a cakey, corny... Yeah, it's like a fluffy sort of like sensation. Sponge. sponge, yeah. Surrounding sponge. The, and then once you put the... Uh, yeah, that is amazing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Universal for me, that Velocicoaster was just incredible no Absolutely so top incredible. tips for universal before we move on to disney i've got a top tip go on what's your top tip when it was like 30 do 32 degrees mm. and we went into dreamworks yeah and it was really cool in there yeah it's quite cool it's like the dance party and you've got all the people like we went and there was princess poppy and branch and delilah literally loved it didn't she and it but was, i mean cool was in oh yeah there was like air con yeah, and there was seats that. it was yeah, that's a good shout, actually. Go and in the, there and calm down. It's down the back, past ET, past Five All, back through there. Great one. And the kids loved it. Uh, all the acts were up. Fred was dancing. Delilah was trying to get up on the stage. I've got this all vlogged. Um, but, like I said, it was all seats there. We all chilled yeah, out. Good. Had like 30 minutes out of, out of the sun. And it was perfect. It was perfect. And another thing you need to do if you are going to Universal is get a reservation at Cowfish. Because, honestly... Oh, Cowfish. Unbelievable. The name the says it all. So you cow, you got like burgers, you got steak, you got anything that comes from a cow, and then the fish is like the sushi and it is unbelievable. And then fried pickles, I still dream I don't even like pickles and I dream oh, about them. This. And and there is a video of me on Cara's Instagram eating a Wagyu burger oh, and it was probably revolting for ninety percent of the population to watch. But for me, 
I was living the dream. Yeah, man, Duke so Cowfish. It's in the like in the outside bit in Universal that you walk you in through. You can't miss it. Oh, it's great. But make sure you get a reservation because it gets so busy. Yeah, it was perfect and good draft beer as well. Yeah, pretty good. So do you want to move on to Disney now or other bits? Mm, let's go to Disney. Let's, okay. go, let's go straight in. Two let's go. Food. Let's go. This is your forte. Okay, here. so we stayed on site this time. This is the first time I've ever stayed on site in Florida. Yeah. Mixed reviews for different reasons. I loved the pool. Love the pool. The pool. Was unbelievable. Two great slides, which Fred, yeah. that was one thing that was great. I think Fred could run up and down. We could see him. He had all life jackets on. And you had on. the splash pad as well for Delilah. So you had like a separate bit with all gates around it that had like the big climbing frame sort of thing. But like in the pool, you know what I mean? I don't know. Splash so you could, pad, sort yeah. of, you could sit there yeah, you and watch him having fun. And then they had the old bucket that fills up. And yeah. that was like a tidal wave, wasn't it? That is a lot of water. Yeah, so I loved that. Loved the whole island. They had like, um, remember the nighttime cinema, which was great. Oh, you yeah, could, on the island. Yeah, you could sit there. You could see all the fireworks from Epcot, which was fantastic. You got yeah. the skyline, which is great. One top tip though, if you, there's a Joffrey's near the, which is coffee. And it's right by the Skyliner. Yeah. They do not take... What did, What was it they wouldn't take? They couldn't take debit cards or something like that. No, because they wouldn't allow it on my um, Apple Pay, wouldn't it? They so wouldn't they take pay. Apple Pay. No, but I'm sure that they wouldn't... They wouldn't our tap cards wouldn't work in this hut, but they wouldn't let me put it in and type the pin in. Do you remember there was that some day and we, was, we just wanted like a, a cold drink yeah. and we couldn't get them, we had to leave them? So just be careful with oh, the Joffrey yeah, stand. I forgot about that. Because I can't remember if it was we had to pay cash and we didn't have any cash on us. We only had our cards and our English cards wouldn't work or something like that. So just... I was trying to blag like, I was like, come on, it's a, it's a hot day and I'm tired. She's like, no, you can't have them. Yeah, I, like, I can't okay. remember what it was, but just be warned that sometimes English cards can be a little bit funny out Temperamental there. Temperamental out yeah, there. Yeah, and Apple Pay. Nathan didn't take his card because he thought that he could use Apple Pay everywhere. Oh no, a hundred pound minimum on Apple Pay. Yeah, but some places didn't even take it. Yeah, I really like. I thought you know we're living. He in just the, didn't want to pay. He's, yeah, well, he's lying. it was your trip, so mm. you know. So loved it for the convenience. Loved it for the early magic hours. Loved it for getting around. It was great. The buses, the shuttles, perfect. The only thing I don't like, I don't know if this has changed now, but because of COVID, that word. Um, our room didn't get cleaned once in five days. Oh yeah, that was horrific. Our bins only got changed because I emptied the bins and left them outside. And they said that this was due to COVID. So we never had our beds changed, never had it hoovered. And obviously with two children that have snacks and things like that, wasn't great. Uh, did we get our towels changed? I think we did because yeah, we, we was like, how? they were saying, oh, you know, we can't come in the room because COVID. And we was like, well, you've come in the room to change the towels. So... You but know, the, the you pay, thing... but you pay a substantial amount to pay in, to stay in a Disney resort. So you, I just feel like you expect a level of standard to at least in five days have your room cleaned once. The worst thing was we had the kids in bed with us and the, the kids were eating in bed with us, cookies and everything mm. like that. To, by the end of the uh, time there. It was far. It, uh, our bed was like looking at the back of someone's Yeah, city. like you can ask for new bed sheets, but... Listen, I don't know if I'm wrong and some of you might think, oh, she sounds stuck up. But if I've just paid a lot of money for a holiday, I clean beds and change beds all day at home. Like, I don't think it's too much to ask to have your bed changed. So just bear in mind that I don't know if they're still in play. They I may be not. changing things because things are slowly going back. But at the moment, you don't really get your room cleaned. Yeah, that, that upset you. Which again, it? you're not going to get your room cleaned in the villa. But you're paying a lot less money. Yeah. And I, uh, you know, I don't know. You, you were really upset about I it. I was really upset about it. Um, so, yeah, I did like staying on property. I'd love to, like, we went over to visit the Polynesian and things like that. We've done just, the whole lot. We've done the... Oh, they're beautiful. We, no, but I mean, we don't... No, we didn't go in the Grand, Grand Floridian. We drove past it. Oh, no, yeah. We didn't that, go in it. That was, that was lovely, getting the boat over. I thought that yeah. was a must. But I do think there is such a difference. Obviously, with the deluxe result now, you get extra park hours of an evening. So you get like from nine to one o'clock in the park on your own. And that's only for the deluxe result. So that's like Grand Floridian, Polynesian, maybe Wilderness Lodge. I don't know. Uh, maybe Contemporary. But they're so expensive. What's that, the? The like Disney hotels, really. Yeah. I think you're better off getting... If you're going to stay in a Disney hotel, Art of Animation is a great one. Pop Century is a great one. Caribbean Beach was great. We did stay in a pirate room. Two pirate probably beds. Needs, probably needs a bit updating. Yeah. 
from but I thought it was I thought the beds were really comfortable they were really comfortable but from really comfortable. watching other vlogs I would say that if I went back I'd probably say an art, ima- art of uh, art, art of imagination of animation, animation or if not pop century because the rooms have been updated they look great you've got the skyline still with art of animation so you know I don't know, but it's all on people's budgets, isn't it? Exactly that. But if you yeah. are looking to do Florida on a budget, then do also look at like hotels on International Drive or villas. But, you know, Magic Breaks, they can cater to all that and, you know, they'll find you the best deal. That's why I love them. And yeah. I always book for them because, I agree with you know. that. Um, any top tips on the parks? The parks, well, um, when we went, it was so hot. So I mean, we got. A, uh, I, think I like eight, March, April is my favorite time to go. You know, when we went on the f- first See, I didn't big like cruise, that. but I, I did for walking around parks. Yeah, that. But then, if you're doing parks, that's a good time to go. It's great, but I'm. I don't know. You might be different to me, but I love being warm. I f- I love being. Like, that's you though. I'm talking about with people kids, with children. Yeah. yeah. I think when we went... It was a little bit too hot. June, July, August is hot, yeah. mate. Like, when I say hot, it is hot. Like, you step outside the room and it is like you've walked into a sauna in it. Yeah. You're sweating. You've walked three steps and you're sweating. It's and But one thing I do love about the parks, they do have that spray mist. Yeah, but you've got to find it. Yeah, it but It is I mean, hot. L- listen, I cannot... I don't care how you wrap it up. It is hot. And yeah. It, warm so we i get off off amazon i always get the little like i've got these fans that goes on the kids prams but you have to remember to charge them like spray water bottles in it just take reusable bottles fill up water i cannot stress to you enough it is hot yeah very hot but um i'd say any top tip we couldn't which was sad this year we couldn't really uh wait for the the fireworks that upset me because of yeah was, i think we needed to where delilah was too too young and it was full on in a day i think you'd sort of have to go back but then it messes up the the, the bedtime routines doesn't it yeah but like even in paris we don't really do the fireworks like it's annoying but it's busy it's crowded yeah. and with our like other kids are well behaved our kids are mad so they for sure us are. to stand in a crowd for you know even half an hour 40 minutes an hour to get a spot for the fireworks then keep them there then keep them occupied then walking out the parks is quite hard work yeah until they're a little bit older so let's talk about my favorite part food <gasps> and right I'm not gonna. I'm, you know, I'm like with names. Oh. What's a revolving restaurant? Um, Garden Grill at Epcot. That was, that my, was favorite. my favorite. So we had, and like we'd a- never done it before. I got that on an off chance. I got a booking for it, and because there is a character meal, and I thought, right, we keep the kids occupied, and the food was unbelievable, wasn't it? The best. What was uh, what was we had for afters? It was um strawberry shortcake, but it's it's served family style, which here we don't. In England, it's not really like a thing, is it? But it basically means that they bring everything out in a big bowl and then you have plates and you just take what you want and they keep refilling it. So we had like... We what had was a roast we dinner, had? didn't we? It was like, it was a like stuffing and... That beef tenderloin, oh, like thing, now. mashed potato, green beans, Ma- uh, g- salad, we had corn. Uh, cheese, uh, uh, macaroni and cheese. Yeah, we? like it, all the good stuff. Like it's a really good meal. And basically the restaurant is inside the land pavilion where like soaring and that is and it rotates... So as you go around, yeah, you've got like all different scenery that takes you inside living, living in the land, living on the land, living in the land. One of them, that ride, it actually takes you around that. But where the scenery is constantly changing and you've got the characters and the food is actually of a really good standard. Loved it. That was my favourite. One meal I didn't like was Hollywood and Vine in Hollywood Studios. Do you remember the character meal? Fred was asleep for the whole thing. Pinky was awake. Didn't enjoy that at all. No, that was... That, no. I, I Didn't enjoy did, that disagreed. one. Disagreed. My meat was amazing. That was probably... The food the, was good, but I didn't enjoy it. I didn't think that was... I didn't enjoy that experience. Yeah. What, I the, think our waitress was yeah, a bit... She was a bit rude, wasn't bit, she? A bit, like, funny... I don't know. I just didn't find it great. I, but I wouldn't put take that away from one waitress. I think the food wise, I, I had uh, beef. I think I had salmon. And that was like, the beef was so nice. And then obviously you get the mashed potato and everything like that. That was really nice. I'm getting really hungry now. Thinking yeah. About and I'll tell you what, one snack, because when we started talking about what we was going to talk about today, it was the cheeseburger spring <gasps> rolls. If you're in Magic Kingdom, they're oh on the way God. to Jungle Cruise. You need to get them early in the day because they sell out. They do these cheeseburger spring rolls and it's basically a spring roll. Look, I've had to shut my eyes because I'm so passionate about it. And basically the inside of it was like a Big Mac, wasn't it? All, all the good stuff from a Big Mac inside a spring roll. 
we queued um, for what I think half. I an wish hour. we'd have got more. We only got one portion to yeah, share. You get we, two, and we should have got a portion each. And we've logged eating them. I think oh, we, mate. We sh- it was like orgasmic. It was really nice. It was um, amazing. Probably the best thing I ate in Disney. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, that was super. Because best thing. Uh, what else? What other uh, restaurants did we eat at? We went to the Lady in the Tramp one. That Tony's. Oh, I enjoyed that because that gets a lot of flack. Yeah, it gets. A, it's all right. Like it's an Italian. It's nothing unbelievable, but it was nice. I had chicken parmesan. Can't remember what I had. I it's think on you the had vlog. meatballs. Yeah, uh, I think we and shared it. Was, it. it was fine. Like it's quick. It's not quick services, and it? it's a quick service restaurant. But I mean, like the food comes out quickly, so you're not waiting for hours. You get in there, you get your food, you have a big meal. And it's a big meal. You can probably share one meal between two people. What did we have for starters? Oh, that was so good. It was like I can't even remember. Like ch- I can't remember. It was like cheese. So Mozzarella like, dippers. Yes, they were great. And I think the waiter was like because Fred was just being a nightmare. I think he was nice. Yeah, he was brilliant. And yeah. he just because like, we said look, we we're on borrowed time here because Fred was kicking off the lilac. Yeah. This is when we were like the fourth day in. And yeah, another top tip: don't do what we done. We booked five days at Disney Resort, <sighs> and we literally had to do all the parks. If you're gonna do it, space them take, out. Do like even if you've got to do two parks, then have a day off. Then do the other two parks. Please have a day off to enjoy your result and just chill because we didn't and with two young children it was probably the worst thing we could have done <laughs> I remember we come out of it's a small world do you remember we sat at where the buggies were and then we just looked at each other and we it was, was like st- and it was so hot we just sat in the shade me and you looked at each <laughs> other them two were just Fred and Delilah were playing up and we were just like no enough's enough now yeah, you, just, what did you want to see you wanted to see the fireworks I think no I, like, I think I wanted to go on the Haunted Mansion and I didn't even get on the Haunted Mansion yeah it was that was a f- that was when just, it was yeah. too much for them like we we tried to fit too much in in the days that we did so again one of my tips that I said before enjoy yourself and don't rush I did exactly that and it took yeah. away from the experience bit us in the bum a little bit but also, we still had great a, I just want to touch on Genie Plus slightly things are changing all the time in it so at the time when we went you could book it for every day of your holiday or you could book it in advance which was great because then you'd get up in the morning and you could start making your selections I'm not going to go into massive detail about it today because there is so much to go into with it I'd like to do just an episode about Genie Plus to let you know about it we used it on every day that we were in the park and we actually found it quite good um we were staying on site so we could make our first selections at seven o'clock it's basically the new version of fast pass but there's a lot to it so i can't get into I loads of details i don't today. even know where to start so you we well we can't go into it so no. we ain't got time um we did the lightning lanes as well where you pay so obviously genie plus is like 14 dollars a day per person didn't have to do it for delilah because she's under free she doesn't have a ticket um and then individual lightning lane is something that is separate from that and they are attractions that you buy basically a fast pass for at different times of the day you schedule it in um we tried both we actually got on really well with them but you're still spending more money though, you are spending you? more money but with young children you sometimes need that extra boost thing. yeah yeah so you know was great enjoyed it we shouldn't have rushed it as much as we did no but i mean we still had fun but obviously we like did you have said, fun, but i'll be honest just... as a mum where you plan something so much and then you get there and it's not as good as you wanted it to be it ruined it for me can we just talk about your mishap a minute what did you really balls up <laughs> like really really balls up like to the point where i can't go for it go on the mic is yours nah. spit spit the mic come on tell everyone no nah. Well, I will. Okay, we. No, I can't even say. You've got to say it. No, please, I can't say, it. say it to the people, please. No, I'm people getting want, nervous. I'm biting my fingers. What? Come on, let's go. No. Tell them. <laughs> tell them. Who wants to hear it? I do. Come on. Just, on then, tell them. You'll find great joy in telling. So basically, I, I, the thing is, I don't know the names of where we were going, so I'm going to struggle we were here a little bit. Walking down Main Street, walking out of the Magic Kingdom. Eh? <laughs> we're walking. Oh no, I'm not talking about that. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Talking about that. <laughs> I wasn't talking about that. Oh, God, I've gone red for her. Wow, <laughs> that went to zero say, from a hundred. What? Not that. Not your bow movements. Wow, uh, no. I put, wow. I put myself. <laughs> <laughs> she literally, yeah. 
Who can say, put your hand up at home if you've pooed yourself in Disney. Cara Delacan. Oh, wow. It's just the way she looks at me and goes, oh, I've done it again. <laughs> it's the fact I say I've done it again. <laughs> it's not a first occurrence. Oh, mate, when we was walking out. What happened now? Oh, what? my God, I had such a bad belly because all that food. And I was walking out and I was like, no, I've not got go to <laughs> And just left me with these two kids. They're like, where's no, mummy gone? I'll I'm just tra- give them that I'm look now. You know where mummy's gone. Oh, oh, my belly feels bad. I'll let, I'll let half a fart out and it weren't half a fart. She couldn't trust a fart towards the end of that holiday, boy. Let me tell you. Wow. Well, anyways, <laughs> I won't actually say that, but what a golden nugget that is. Excuse the pun. Um, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, mate, she done it again last week as well. Anyways, that's another oh, story. Mate, I do it a lot. I was actually telling your I, I was I was wondering why you were so reluctant <laughs> to tell the story. I was like, I, it wasn't about that, it was about the one when you messed up the days when we were supposed to be going to Oh, just tell the story. I've got to take a moment. So when we were supposed to be going to can you give me the, the stories? Oh, the, the, right. So we had park reservations for the Magic Kingdom and I had booked an early reservation for Cinderella's table at like Caught past eight in the morning because I thought, right, we'll get there. We'll get there nice and early. There's no one in the park. We can do photos. It'll be magnificent. It'll be spectacular. It will be unbelievable. Then we'll get out from breakfast. We'll have a couple of magic hours. We'll have a little bit of magic hours before. Perfect. Fantastic. Get to know what other people paid, in the pictures. Paid up front for Cinderella's table. Yeah, this isn't a cheap gaff to go to, right? I've paid over 100 quid up front for us to go to this meal. I've got it all planned. What did I do? I messed the days up. Right, oh, mate, totally the, on the didn't realise. Got to Animal Kingdom, went to check in at Animal Kingdom. They was like, you haven't got a reservation for this part today. I was like, I have. I definitely have. They was like, you haven't. You're meant to be at Magic Kingdom. It dropped. My face dropped. I cried. I cried. She did Do you know cry. how hard that reservation is to get? And yeah, and she done that. And then the day before, she pulled her pants. So yeah, it w- just wasn't yeah, a great. It honestly, was, it wasn't a great. It way. was. It was one. It was so hot out there. So we had to. Um, I didn't mind though, because luckily enough, thanks to Disney, we went to Animal Kingdom and we did. And we met up with our friends, which was really nice actually. But they let us in because we didn't have the uh, Animal Kingdom reservation till this afternoon. And I'll tell you one thing with Disney, be nice to them. So. So um, after after that big. uh, That big big explosion (laughs) um, in Kyra's pants, we're moving on to shopping where she can buy herself some clean knickers. To be fair, Uh, we didn't actually do an awful lot because it's not as cheap as it used to be. I remember like when I was younger, we'd go and. $2 to the pound. $2 to the pound. You ain't getting that now. No. Like we did get some good bits, but. Like Ralph and stuff is still great. There's no Mike bargains Town. anymore, really. No, not as many. Like obviously, it's it's the and way the, the world. And the thing is, we've got good outlets here now. Like we go to like Ashford or Bicester and that. So yeah, it's not really that too much different. So, so we, no, we didn't. I, I, you, I mean, you did go shopping. I mean, you bought me some nice bits from Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah, but got some nice golf bits. So your mum and dad. We're bought not some really nice bits. massive shoppers. We're more the we're just hardcore Disney enthusiasts. Yeah, but one thing that we do love to do when we are in the uh, state of florida is we have our favorite place which is down in clearwater amazing clearwater is so beautiful i cannot even tell you if you have never visited clearwater and you have been to florida then you need to we found it we went with your mum and dad didn't we for the day for the first time i don't think we went clearwater we went the other side um we no because we had been we had or did we find clearwater in lockdown we found clear water in lockdown. So the first time we went to clear water, it was when lockdown had just started and Florida had actually like cooled off beaches. Like you couldn't even go on the beaches and it was so beautiful. And we was like, oh my God, we need to come back. So this time we actually, I went on Airbnb and I actually booked a um, little apartment for Your condo, wait, oh, It was so well. nice. It was about $200 for the night, but there was like, everything. Was there? Three, kitchen, four, five adults, two, two kids. So there was loads of room. There was a, Two double beds in bedrooms and then a pull-out bed and there was a cot. So it was great, wasn't it? Perfect. Yeah. Um, it's just beautiful. It's just... I, I, I think it's like a really family-friendly... Fre- the really beach, the sand is like Caribbean sand, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's a very family-friendly Miami. Oh, it's just stunning. Because you've got like the skyscrapers like where on the on the beachfront, but then it's like got great restaurants. 
I mean, the nightlife's really good. The Me shark, and we all, so the last two times we've been and we've been on this shark boat. If you go to Clearwater, find the shark boat, right? You cannot miss it. It basically looks like jaws on the front it's, of yeah, it. Yeah, it's a big shark with his and mouth open. Uh, it's not a lot of money, is it? $25? Something like that and cheaper for kids. I don't think we had to pay for Pinky. And you go out That's for adorable, what, like an hour or something? Yeah. And you, they take you around Clearwater and you see dolphins and they like follow the boat. Obviously, you've got to be lucky, but the two times no, we've so done it, we both we got good dolphins both times. So what happens is the dolphins uh, react to the vibrations right, Dave, of the look boat. At, listen to David Attenborough now, guys. Uh, so the dolphins like the vibrations of the boat. Stop and making it, eye contact with me. It's making me feel I weird. thought that would have turned you on. Um... But you no, know, that, that's what happens. The dolphins actually love the vibrations of the boat. So what they do is they come up and you get like a bird's eye view of them jumping right behind the boat. I think, we, I think we've got it on our vlog at some point. Yeah, it's so keep watching. <sighs> Absolutely super. But what can I recommend Clearwater getting a little room or something for the night? It is amazing. The restaurants you can walk around. It's top tip. A, oh my god, top the ice tip. Cream. Ice cream. The ice cream. <laughs> there is an. Are they Amish? Uh, Amish. Amish. Amish ice cream. Amish on the ice cream on the beachfront. That's ice cream Unbelievable. And the shop is so amazing, colourful, and it's just amazing. Uh, isn't it? Top out ten out superb. of ten. Superb. And what? We, where did we eat? Uh, oh, do you remember that little diner? I had that lobster. Listen, there's just great places. Anywhere you go down there, you're winning. Yeah. Winning. 100%. And then the beachfront we went and stuff. Beach is lovely. Great. Perfect. Clearwater is a top tip to visit. So there you go, guys. That was us talking all about Orlando and all the amazing things that you can do. Hopefully, we've given you some top tips today or at the very least, we've given you a laugh. And if you want to hear any more embarrassing stories about Cara's embarrassing bowel movements... We would love for you to join us on the next episode. Make sure you subscribe and like, and we hope you enjoyed listening to See what we had to say. Yeah, real soon.